This is one of the best and most ingenious low vision products I've ever tried. It was designed by someone visually impaired for the visually impaired community. It's the easy to see organizer and address book. Let's talk about it. Hi everyone, welcome to Carry On Accessibility where we explore technology and accessibility. How does this count as technology? Well, one of the coolest parts of this product is that you can just remove a page. And no, I didn't rip that out. And now you can just put it right back in. There we go. It is one of the coolest binding systems that I've ever come across. And now if I tug on this page, if I pull this page, if I shake this page, it does not come out. For an organizer and address book, that is just amazing. And of course, since this is for the low vision community, everything is just large print. And just like the cover says, it is easy to see. Thank you to easy to see for sending this to me and for partnering with me on this video. They also sent me an easy to see no bleed pen and a no bleed marker. The pen is white with a black cap and the marker is black with a white cap. These are very similar to the 2020 pens are bold 20 and the marker is thicker and it's like the bold 40. They don't bleed through to the other side of the page and we'll talk more about this in just a minute. The front and back cover has this glossy material. It has that laminated texture. It is eight and a half by five and a half. On the inside front cover, you can write who it belongs to and emergency contact information. Then the next two pages are information about the organizer. Then there's a page for local numbers and you can write down the police non-emergency numbers. There's all emergencies, utilities, and some extra lines. On the flip side, it says medical or notes. It's just a whole blank sheet. You can do what you want with. On the borders of all the pages, there's this black bold line to help you not go past the edges of the pages. On the next page, it has national hotlines and on the reverse side of that is another side where you can write whatever you'd like. Then we have a monthly pages and there's a side for each month. You can write things like birthdays and anniversaries, things that don't change from year to year. There are six lines on each of these pages. They're very bold and the space between them makes it very easy if you want to write very large. After that, we have index pages. They're a little thicker than other pages, kind of like cardstock, and they have tabs so you can go through the contacts more easily. But I love the fact that each page has the letters like so large. That is so helpful because for me, at least, even though the tabs are large print, they're still too small for me to read. There are 60 pages uh, for contacts. On the front side, it has a spot for name, address, and phone. And then there's a blank page on the flip side of each contact sheet, so you can write any notes you want. There are also five notes pages at the back. I also tried the easy to see no bleed pen and the marker. This was really tricky for me as usually when I write, I have to be very close to it with my face on the paper and um, I couldn't really do that, but um, I don't think I did that badly. So I was able to write my name. I could see the lines and then I wrote down my last name as well in the this belongs to section in the front inside cover. I'm just glad I can actually read my handwriting. I did a little bit more writing this time off camera so I could actually see what I was doing and uh, um, it turned out pretty well. The lid for the pen and the marker, I usually put it at the other end of the pen so that it can stay there and I don't lose the cap uh, while I'm writing. The only thing is it was a little loose, so I do wish that that could be a bit tighter. These don't have a clip but they do have this little piece of plastic on the cap. So when you put it on a desk, uh, it tries to stop it from rolling too much. One more thing. On the back inside cover, there is a dry erase section and I tried it with a dry erase marker and I wrote a little hello in blue right here 
and I tried to use the cap um, it has an eraser on it and I kind of just smudged it around. I'm not sure if it's the material or the dry erase marker I was using, but I did just get something like a wet napkin and wiped it off and it came off really easily except for that little part that I didn't see and I just kind of brush that off. I love the idea of these contact sheets. You can just fill it out, then organize them. You can just take the top or bottom corner closest to the binding and just carefully pull it out. You can do this to multiple pages as well. Then turn to where you want to insert it and then you just push the paper down around the discs for the binding and they will just kind of snap into place. You can try to pull or tug on it, but it won't come out unless you pull it just in the right way. And you can't really do this accidentally. Like I said earlier, I think this is one of the best products out there for low vision who needs an organizer, an address book. I've never seen anything like this. And I, I really like this system. This is like the coolest binding system I've ever seen. I wish we could get this for notebooks and other kinds of planners and things like that this is this is so I, I, I love this i have other easy to see products that i bought myself like the academic calendar planner everything is just large so easy to see i love it when i see people from the community that are visually impaired low vision blind themselves and they create products that solve a problem that they have and that other people in the community have. I love that and I love to support businesses like these. You can check out their website. It's easy to see products.com. That's the letter E, little letter Z, the number two, and then S E E products.com. They have the 2025 weekly planner calendar available already. This is the non academic one, and they even have post-its that have this black border around them so that you don't go past the edge of the post-it and you can also get refill pages for the organizer. I think this is really great for people who still have enough vision to write things down that want to have a physical copy. Digital is great but sometimes just having something that you can touch and turn and feel if you can still see it it's really great let me know what you think in the comments if you like this video give it a thumbs up below if you want more content like this make sure you subscribe and if you want to support the channel and what i do consider becoming a youtube or patreon member you also get exclusive videos and we have a koa meetup every month thanks everybody for watching and i will see you in the next one bloopers let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think in the comments and let me know what you think. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you want more videos like these, well, make sure to What the heck? Let me know what you think in the comments and <sighs>